morning. It's Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Long Road Home, and our scripture is 2 Kings chapter 8. Elisha had told the woman whose son he had brought back to life, Take your family and move to some other place, for the Lord has called for a famine on Israel that will last for seven years. So the woman did as the man of God instructed. She took her family and settled in the land of the Philistines for seven years. After the famine ended, she returned from the land of the Philistines, and she went to see the king about getting back her house and land. As she came in, the king was talking with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God. The king had just said, Tell me some stories about the great things Elisha has done. And Gehazi was telling the king about the time Elisha had brought a boy back to life. At that very moment, the mother of the boy walked in to make her appeal to the king about her house and land. Look, my lord the king, Gehazi exclaimed, here is the woman now, and this is her son, the very one Elisha brought back to life. Is this true, the king asked her, and she told him the story. So he directed one of his officials to see that everything she had lost was restored to her, including the value of any crops that had been harvested during her absence. When it comes to miracles, we usually want what the king wanted, stories of the great things. Often, too often, we camp on the miracle event. God told Elisha to lay face down on the dead son of the Shunammite woman to bring life back into the child. In lingering on the grand miracle, we miss the aftermath of God's tender care for his faithful. In the case of the Shunammite woman and her family, Elisha warned her of the coming famine and their lives were preserved. And when they came back, God's timing had the king longing for stories of the great times of the past. Gehazi, Elisha's servant, just happened to be there to tell the story of the woman's son being restored when she walked into the king's presence. In dramatic fashion, the Hallmark movie ending unfolds as Gehazi tells the king the walking, breathing, returning evidence of the miracle was standing in front of the throne. The king hears the woman's story and restores all her property. It was a seven-year road back home, but God provided every need. Enter the long road home of the 21st century occupants of planet Earth. Do you recall the old saying about how sometimes it's hard to see the forest for the trees? It is when you're so surrounded by a problem, even the idea of hope, that glimmering ray of sunshine in a dark place pointing to a better day, is nowhere to be found. I'm beginning to believe that principle has had its way with humanity during this pandemic crisis. Like the king, we long for the good old days and great endings to stories of past victories. We want something to give us hope, but the darkness has been lingering too long. When the pandemic began, it was unthinkably surreal to imagine it would be around longer than a flu season, six months at the most. Now, we're entering the second year of this crisis. It seems the first time we put on masks and started having church online was three lifetimes ago. Remember, time only passes quickly when it's fun. The familiar strains of Revelation and Apocalypse are playing against the backdrop of saints under the altar crying, How long, O Lord? If perspective means anything, the Shunammite woman and her family, post-miracle raising of the dead child, were on the road for seven years. When they came back home, they had to appeal to the king to even have a hope of life getting back to normal. Now, I'm not saying we've got another half dozen years to go with COVID-19 and its mutant cousins, but it could be. And if it is, to wallow as the king, wishing for a return of better days, ruminating on just how good it used to be, is failing to see what God is offering us in this forest of opportunity. So what is that opportunity? It's the invitation for a generation that's been walking in great darkness to regain faith. 
Let me say this in a painfully blunt but clear way, in case you've been living on another planet. The effects of this pandemic death counter cast against the backdrop of political pandemic has all but destroyed the soul of America. We've been like the Shunammite's child, relegated to the darkness of the sick room, expiring. And, I'm sorry to say, the church has been lifelessly sidestepping the famine of faith. The time to walk in fear must come to an end. It's time for the church to come home. It may be a long walk, but God has always provided. And the words of Isaiah's prophecy remind us that we'll get what we need as we step out. Isaiah chapter 40, But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. For you today, when it comes to a crisis, the people of God do not check out. They step up. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.